Omicron is the latest variant of the SARS-CoV-2 and was declared as a variant of concern by the WHO in November 2021 after it was first detected in South Africa. Now, what exactly is a variant? So when there are certain mutation, mutational changes in the virus, it leads to the development of new variants. And a variant of concern is any variant which either leads to increased transmissibility, meaning it can, it can cause more spread of infection, or it can cause an increase in the virulence, meaning the ability to cause more severe disease, or it impacts the public health measures such as either vaccination or diagnostic procedures. So diagnostic tests such as the RT-PCR or the antigen test can detect the presence of COVID infection. However, these tests cannot differentiate between the different variants, meaning whether it's alpha, beta, delta, or Omicron. To detect the presence of Omicron is, is by special testing known as genomic sequencing, where the genetic material of the virus is studied. Now, this is a highly specialized test, which is available only in a few uh, laboratories throughout the country and only random samples are tested for genomic sequencing. However, even if it is alpha, beta, delta or omicron, the basic principles of treating COVID infection remain the same. Common symptoms of omicron include symptoms of any other viral infection, generally tends to present with fever, a sore throat, cough, body ache, backache, running nose. Very occasionally, it can also present with diarrhea as one of the presenting symptoms. We are generally seeing a much milder infection with Omicron and this is partly because the population is vaccinated or have had COVID infection in the past, which tends to give them antibodies and immunity against COVID infection. Now, there's also data to suggest that Omicron has lesser affinity for the lung cells and hence tests tends to cause lesser incidence of pneumonia as compared to the Delta variant. However, having said that, it is still important that we do not let our guards down and still follow the appropriate COVID behavior. It is important to test yourself if you're symptomatic, isolate if possible, and monitor your oxygen and temperature. Most individuals who are healthy, vaccinated, and with no comorbidities generally tend to have a self-limiting illness with symptoms of no more than four to five days. However, it is extremely important to be careful in the elderly comorbid population. So having said that, although there is no need to panic about Omicron, it's extremely important to be vigilant. There is published data now to suggest that being vaccinated with the COVID vaccines does protect against hospitalization, severe disease and death even with the Omicron infection. What we know is the booster dose also provides additional protection. Hence, extremely important to get vaccinated in case you haven't and take the booster dose when you are eligible. It is important to follow COVID appropriate behavior, which includes masking, hand hygiene, maintaining social distancing, avoiding large crowds and gathering and having good ventilation at home and at work. As we know that these basic interventions definitely help reduce the spread of the infection. The other important aspect is vaccination, as we now know that improved vaccination does help to flatten the peak of any COVID wave. One of the components of the virus is called the spike protein. It is this spike protein which attaches to the human cells and causes infection. Omicron has the maximum number of mutations in the spike protein, meaning changes in the spike protein amongst all the variants known so far. And this is not recognized by the human cells and hence tends to cause infection. What we also know about the Omicron variant is that it is much more infectious as compared to the previous variants, but fortunately causes milder illness as compared to the Delta variant. Since most of the infections with Omicron tend to be mild, you can certainly stay at home as long as you monitor your oxygen and temperature regularly. 
Treatment for mild Omicron generally includes symptomatic treatment with paracetamol, an antihistaminic, and an inhaler or a cough syrup for the cough. Steam inhalation and gargling help with a blocked nose and a sore throat respectively. There is no role of antibiotics or other medications for mild COVID. However, having said that, if your symptoms do not resolve within say 5-6 to six days of infection or if you feel breathless or you notice a dip in your oxygen levels or develop any new symptoms, it is extremely important to seek medical attention. Current guidelines recommend that patients with mild COVID illness, meaning the ones who are isolating at home, need to isolate for 7 days from the day of testing with the last three days being afebrile, meaning having no fever. They are not expected to retest for a negative RT-PCR. They are also expected to strictly adhere to mask wearing, including at home for the next seven days. However, guidelines are slightly different in case you are admitted to hospital with moderate to severe COVID.